On the popular video site YouTube, there exists countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. I can, I can feel the weird place for an interview. Crux closing on that motherfucker right now. Here. I heard that. He thinks it's all a big game. I get the impression he's this is a big game. His mom answered the phone when I first called. Speaking of games, good cop or bad cop? Bad cop, definitely. Yes, you are, oh, Benzo. Yeah. You are definitely a bad cop. Call me anonymous. We already have hey, your name and phone number, dumbass. <laughs> dumbass! Oh shit! I don't remember ever. I don't remember Benson being this threatening. You know. Yeah, later episodes, yeah. But this threatening to call up, to straight up come on a dumbass. I mean. Yeah. All right, let's try his alibi. Where were you on Saturday night? Everywhere. Tom, we can go downtown right now if that's how you want to play. Oh, it. don't go there, girlfriend. Sorry, I was online on a raid. Anyone corroborate this? About 20 warriors in my guild. <laughs> he plays World of Warcraft. Get it? He's a hacker nerd, so he plays World of Warcraft. He's in guilds and stuff. <laughs> I live with her. She was there the whole time. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> so, plus alibi, sure. I just said he was playing World of Warcraft. I know how that goes. What makes that plausible? Uh, Tom doesn't seem like the type who gets out much. Yeah. Uh, a mother would never lie to protect her son. That seems good, but a mother would definitely lie to protect yeah, her son. I would go with Tom. Doesn't seem, yeah. That uh, I don't know. How does he know? That's good. That's gotta be it. Damn it! I knew what it. What the fuck? Well, whatever. Let's uh, talk about uh, Rachael. Did you know Rachel Trevino? She mentioned your name on her blog. She did? Oh my god, really? What'd she say about me? Does she like me? Does she want to meet? Are you sure you didn't know her? She'll do whatever you want, want to know her? I mean, you're smart, Tom. All you had to do was hack in, learn her secrets, get close. No, 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 it's not like that. Yeah, it is, she you're weird still fuck. Wouldn't have I don't you. think he so. He drove you crazy. I know he, I know he didn't do it, but Things I just want to get him to sweat so he tell me fucking everything. It's not it's your like, fault. You're the number one suspect. No, please, no, I can't go to jail. You, you know what they do to kids like you in jail? I didn't know this girl. I don't know any girls. <laughs> oh my god, you just missed that whole thing. <laughs> do I know any girls? And he doesn't know any girls? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially if he plays guild shit. Tom will not lie to him. He's, he's, he's a Tom nerd. is a nerd. He would never kill another nerd. It is against their code. Uh -huh. Actually, it is totally okay to kill another nerd if they disagree with you on certain things, like who's the better host on MST3K, or Kirk, or uh, Picard. He uh, probably spends too much time. He spoke... That, that sounds good. He spoke about Rachel in the present tense, because... Yeah, go through that. Yeah, yeah cause, you know, yeah. Yeah! Woo! Good job, detective! Okay, Tom, I believe you. We believe you. Calm down. Rachel was killed the other night. I just had to make sure you weren't playing us. He's actually a good actor. Play good cop. Yeah, play good cop or free to play, I mean... Play good cop. Play well, Benson said... Bad cop, definitely. So playing good cop wouldn't do anything. But I mean, we could talk about free but to play. But you're you would be playing good cop because you're what's his face? You're uh, Curtis. We talked to some Fair people enough. at Mercury Telstar. You have a reputation there. People said you're good, too good, maybe. We thought you might have done something illegal, but they said their security is way too tough for you to crack. Did they find out where my VPN is at? I wrote their security. Oh God, all my the files. Walls, the protocol encryption. It's all me, detective. So, you cut off your head like a hydra and two more heads will grow in his place! Oh, he's like top deleting voicemails. In my sleep, detective. And what did Mercury Telstar think of that? Uh, oh, well, uh, <laughs> I got fired. <laughs> Woo! Alright, spill it about uh, deleting voicemails. So, why would a nice guy like you want to delete voicemails? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> Right. Tom, I think you're. Get us the fuck out of me, little shit! 
You're gonna tell me everything you know right now! Tom, let's play a game. It's called Detective Benson Likes You for a Murder. I throw you in jail and you try to survive as long as you can with the drug addicts. Yes! Do it! Life. You can post the results on the Do it anyway! I can picture the Facebook update. Oh, they actually dropped Facebook! Wow. Oh, <laughs> okay. shit! This game was made in, 20, was in 2012. Reason. I think it was a year after the NCIS game, I think. I don't know. Another reason. Let me go for another reason. What is this another reason? Well, I was paid to access reason. the account, of course. By it's a who? Popular I, I don't want to say. Anyway. You better say. Or do we need to call your mom and tell her you're running a hacking ring out of her basement? Dude, they got his balls oh, Jesus, in a no. fucking vice! Get her Jeez! That woman has enough problems. These people right. are powerful. Names. We need names. Let's get some names. Let's talk about names. Names, names, names. I don't know their names. But you know their power. Whoa, whoa. How does that work? Out there? Well, we only did business over the phone. Weird. Like they had their caller ID blocks. What? I, you oh, know, I, I never knew their names. Uh, I don't believe in them at all. Oh! Because he said he can crack caller IDs. Uh, great! Back it up with evidence! Uh, yeah, James Grace said Tommy crack caller IDs and all I knew is caller's real names. That's right. Right. He's wheezy little nerd and lies about everything. Jeez. That's probably lies. not that, that's probably not the answer they want, but I got a feeling that's still right. Yeah, I'd go. Yeah, I'd go with that. Whoa! Another motherfucking star. I'm on top of shit. You're a terrible liar, Tom. Your old boss told us you know how to crack caller ID codes. You know those names, and you're gonna tell us one way or another. One way or another. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna do that by talking about Mercury Telstar. Why would your old company accuse you of hacking? I just Mercury said that. Telstar I hates me. They'll accuse me of anything. I'm a rogue anarchist activist. Those accounts are my playground. And you hacked. Really? Vino. My brain just I broke on that. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Why? Why are you asking? Your old company seems to think you did, and you apparently possess the skills. I don't know anything. No, I'm just I don't. stupid and are. <laughs> You know, I think I have that For kind instance, of same kind I couldn't of have gotten through their firewall, you know, right? No Zuma way. Putting the protocol cross on us like alone that. is just way beyond my skill. I don't know what that says about me or anything. I believe him. You believe him? Okay. Oh, Damn it! Why'd you go with me? That's why I have you on board. You know what? Playtime is over. You better yeah, let's kick his ass. Solid answers, or I'm throwing you in Rikers, and your mom will have to spend her last cent to post your bail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But listen, I only hack the accounts to sell the voicemail passwords. Passwords? Oh uh, yeah, I got like three hundred thousand. Yeah, a lot of them. Celebrities, politicians, you name it. Then I sold the passwords to this lady named Gwendolyn Scott. She's like a. PR oh, you little bitch! You know, she asked you to mess with Rachel's account. Fuck that! Yeah, I figured it was corporate espionage. Then again, you don't trust your deepest, you know, darkest secrets care? to a Let the capitalist year old. pigs brawl in the mud. Who's it gonna hurt? I don't think he's fourteen, darling. Rachel Trevino. Okay. He worked at a company. Have a great night, deep. Throat. Okay, fine. He's probably like nineteen, twenty. Thirty-five. Try again for a better score. Great, you increase your detective rank. Well then, I'm fine. Oh, because I didn't get your precious bonus stars. You know, we're, we're still doing it. Let's keep it going. Yes. Le petite poids. We're going to start by what we call defining your moment. Hey, Kat Susie. Gwendolyn Scott? Yes. I'm she Detective was in, uh, Curtis. This is Detective also Benson. The Wolf we need Among to talk us. to you for a minute. So sorry. I'm busy. Well, first of all, she's Phil and Mel on Rugrats. No, who is she? My client is in oh, she was some You character. can call my office. You know, a guy named Tom Newberry just gave me this girl's number, PR Flack. She likes to By the way, that dress is fabulous. Her clients. Maybe I'll call her. She is a day. socialite who knows passion and fashion. Booker! Five minutes. Ha <laughs> Gotcha! Was that fun, Detective? Yeah. Was it good for you? Sometimes, I like to play rough. Well, so do I. But a little charm can go a long way. To be charming be or be forceful. forceful? Fuck that bitch! Yeah. Forceful! Okay, you're gonna tell me how you deleted Rachel Trevino's voicemails. 
Whoa! Down boy! <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing all my cards on the table. You tell me now. You tell what's going on, or I'm gonna fuck you up. Fine. Right. And I'll call my lawyer, and we can just sit there and stare at each other like a bad first date. Because I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't like your attitude. I don't like your face. I'm determined. Sorry, I promise this will only take a moment of your time. You're a busy, You're a busy girl. working girl. <laughs> and I promise I won't make up extra questions as an excuse to talk to you longer. I'm saying she's All right, a whore. Romeo, settle down. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Alright, celebrity gossip about Rachel Trevino and Tom Nobody. Oh my gosh, celebrity gossip. Tell me about the host ho on the Rachel Trevino. What's the name? Rachel Trevino mean anything to you? No. Should it? She was murdered last night. We found her body at the Parkview Regency. And you did it! I know you did it! As if life isn't tough enough for housekeeping. Ha <laughs> ha, is there something wrong with what she just said? Yeah, how do you know she works in housekeeping? I only said her name. How does she know about life as a yeah, housekeeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, more like, how did she know Rachel was with housekeeping? Cause there's no way that this shallow bitch is a housekeeper. So, yeah, Rachel. Yeah. Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Good job, Tag Team Jack! Yeah, correct! Didn't say anything about her being with housekeeping? I must have read it in the paper. Nothing's been released to the papers yet. It must have been gossip. You know how these things get around, Detective. You I thought you didn't just, know her! You just fucked yourself super hard. Bitch! Come in downtown with me! Tom Newberry already told us you knew her. Oh, that Rachel. That Rachel. Uh, uh, mistake. I can be such an airhead. You can be such an airhead. It's all about Tom Newberry. You blind know Tom slut. Newberry? No. No. We just D went through this. Just is she? No. Correct. We, we Never just, trust her. We were just talking about. Her. All right. Yeah. This one. Tom Newberry already said she knew him. Oh yeah, that's right. Drew! That's why I got you on my team, baby. Yeah. We are an unstoppable justice duo. A lot of people know me. Do a lot of people call you? Not the right people. Ew. Right. Ew. Yeah. Tell me about these phone calls and be explicit with each detail. So if I look up your phone records and Tom Newberry called you, and you talked to him more than once, now... Would I be crazy to think you're lying to me? What? I love a 16 year old. What's the big deal? He's like 20 years old. Oh my god! Do I feel like she's cooperating? No! Correct! She is a lying bitch. What do you base this feeling on? People in public relations can never be trusted. <laughs> she has yet to answer a single question. She's getting angry, and that's a sign of guilt. guilt. Uh, I base this on this. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't answered anything truthfully yet. You! We called that lying bitch out. We get a star for it. I'm not the jealous type, Miss Scott, and I don't like. <laughs> you knew him. Fine. Yes, we did business. I paid him for insider information. Oh yeah. Why don't you tell me about that then? Your payment. payment. You're just unraveling your spider web of lies, you little Lord. harpy. You paid Tom for what exactly? Passwords. I can't tell you that. I, play, I, I played Tom the fence. access to voicemail accounts. So you could delete Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Look, I really shouldn't say. Did you, you are want just to keep her quiet, <laughs> Miss Scott. Were you involved in her murder? No, no, I did delete Rachel's voicemails. Yes, but I did it for someone else <laughs> on someone else's orders. Am I, get, am I getting the run around here? I believe we're in that one. <sighs> Okay, fine. Uh, how I know for sure? We're guilty. Uh, no. That's gotta be it. I can't imagine any other reason. James Gray confirmed that Tom I think it's this one. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm listening. Why don't you tell me a little more? Was someone else involved? Well, let's talk about man. This is this is intense. This is way better than NCIS. Holy shit! 
It's way better I'll ask game. You to delete the voicemails. I actually care about what's happening. Really can't tell we don't have to go to no I'm stupid really fucking good. deduction board. I'm actually pretty good at this. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> well, crap. I guess it's all over for me anyway. Yep, it's all Here's over for you. Deal. I gave Rachel's password and voicemails to my doomed. usual buyer, Alexander Baron. Alexander Baron, as in CEO of Wider Media. We just fucking know everybody, don't you, Benson? Television stations in America. The very same. Baron bought Rachel's voicemail access for me a few weeks ago, and then told me to delete them all. Ah, uh, yeah, I believe her in this. Woo! Right. You've got ten out of eight stars with no strikes. Wow, just that one scene was a miss. But we're doing really good here. All right, what about this question? Was it James Gray stated that wider media owns him? Did he? I don't know. No, I guess not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Hey, Scott, why was Alexander Baran interested in Rachel Trevino? She's a maid. He's a Russian billionaire. I, I don't get it. Russian billionaire, the worst types of billionaires. Or is it the worst types of Russians? She covered some dirty, dirty secrets about Alexander Baron. He's a very bad boy detective. Now I don't believe you anymore. What did she find out? Baron has a problem keeping it in his pants, especially when it comes to housekeeping staff. We've had to cover up a few unsavory encounters. Rachel tried to set up a sting going undercover at the hotel, and I honestly don't know what happened after that, but. I think she got in over her head. I think she was trying to uh, sting him for prostitution. And and this is went, where my yeah. lawyer would advise me to keep my mouth shut. Come on, Gwen. Oh, now it's Gwen. I like that. Okay, <laughs> look. All I'm gonna say is the Parkview Regency Hotel. Just call her Gwen. Just right? close everything. Ask them who stayed there on Saturday. And so we did. Yeah. And so we did what? So we. We're gonna go see what's going on now. Right. So let's, let's do it. All right. We're good. We didn't get three out of three bonus stars. What the fuck? Because we missed that one thing. We didn't know what. Like, how was I supposed to know that was important? Whatever. Let's keep it going. Can you hear me now? Oh, that was so. Cormac at the precinct. Alexander Baron was a guest at Parkview Regency the night oh, Rachel was killed. Doing okay there, he checked out earlier Curtis? today, and he's on his way to MacArthur Airport. Okay. He's got a private so jet around and around an appointment in London. Well, he he's going to be late. Cops. You know how his cops get. Oh, yeah, I see. MacArthur Airport. Mr. That's Mr. Baron. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Baron. <laughs> that Detective plane. Curtis. And That's Mike certainly Peter. a picture of the. to talk to you about the murder plane, of a hotel right. over the weekend. This has made, uh, serious like the animation stuff of the Wolf Among Us. I get it though; they have to cut corners and they can't do actual environments, and sure backdrops work just fine because the Alexander the animation Brown does look very good. The murder of Rachel Trevino. You have the right to remain silent. Oh well, sorry, I was too busy praising the game. The game doesn't stop to wait for me to stop praising this, so that's good. All yeah. right, now let's do some interrogationism. He does not look okay. He looks pissed. He looks bald. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have diplomatic immunity. We did a little research That's on you, Mr. Ron. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own great, company? Guy, really. Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Proud, Mom? proud people. He's been some Except this guy. This guy's probably a dickbag. I mean, look. He's got a carpet on his face. Women are attracted to it despite themselves. And he's a slimy fuck. When a woman too, is so. attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've had twenty <laughs> slapped with all sorts of things. Guy oh gets, god! Guy gets slapped with the, with a lawsuit for sexual harassment. He takes his ass. Oh, she just wants me more. Are you fucking kidding oh me? <laughs> okay, let's talk about Rachaya. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? DNA evidence. Did you see me? Did you hear me? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. So you do know her? You cops think you had it all figured out. <laughs> Guess what? We were lovers. Is he lying about Rachel? Yes! Yeah, yeah. You fucking yeah. raped her, you yeah. son of a bitch. Bam! That's one star. Who stayed at Rachel had no boyfriends? The hotel maid herself. Yeah! Woo! Dumb! Yeah, that's 
Double shot of justice. I'm not buying it. Sorry, Double tap. Bam, bam. Your earlier witness already told us Rachel didn't have a boyfriend. Right. And you lied about knowing her just now. That's two strikes. Three strikes. So uh, three strikes to that. His argument is that he's a like. criminal. Is that how it works? Maybe. I don't know. The three strikes for me. I'm fucked. Suspicious behavior. Yeah, let's get you, let's get your. Actually, let's talk about this alternative theory. First. So let's say, maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough, and you obliged, consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the you know, if I were done with the girl who liked it rough, I would be? I would sign a contract saying that we are two consenting adults about to have sex, and any sort of injuries that sustained is a result of this, and that way she doesn't use kind of bullshit. No I mean, shit. You know, I and. If it really was so, I could show this document right now, hypothetically, and say, see, it was consensual, it was fine. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Did she ask you to Make use it? Make the bureaucrats it? happy, yes. that's for sure. She They'd asked love me to, see to what do it. Goes on. It was her idea. She liked that kind of thing, I guess. Nuh -uh. Like I said, it was all consensual. This girl was kinky. She yeah, you seem like a real sex master there, everybody. Right? She was an adult. So, you admit it. This game is rated no. T for teen, mine. No. What the fuck? You have evidence against him? Sure I do. Yay! Now what is it, I bet, huh? What three pieces of evidence best connect him directly to Rachel's death? Uh, Brisbane Rachel's death, Gaines carrying wider media, Rachel's note. That seems like a good one. So, like the London, the Gaines carrying the hotel room. Nope. Bruise marks on Rachel's neck, the Gaines carrying, and the DNA evidence. That's probably oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That probably doesn't mean anything because why do mean anything? So yeah, the DNA evidence is the best one. So boom. Yeah. Woo! You gonna go prison? You gonna get fucked? The <laughs> mark on Rachel's neck matches your cane. You just said she asked you to choke her out. No, I'm not admitting anything to you people. Come on, Baron. An innocent girl is dead. You want to be macho? You want to be a man? Why don't you just don't chug you down another bottle of vodka like you did when you walked into the station? Ooh. So... Voicemails. Machismo? Because he was talking about, you want to be macho, you want to be a man? Let's talk about machismo. Women, they love power. They love machismo. But most machismo? of them, when they get their hands on a stallion, all they do is complain about the ride. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and these bloggers, they're all feminists, right? Oh, oh, gosh, me. oh wow! Especially this game is, guys. This guys game's going crazy me. now. Uh, sorry, my lawyers have advised me not to take bait so easily offered by a policeman. Worth a shot. Damn! Oh well, I don't know what red herrings are supposed to do, but... Maybe they're good? I, bet, I don't know. I don't know if they're good or not. At least I find them. So then, let's, let's talk about... Uh, nah, nah. Voicemails, the voicemails. Yeah, let's go with the voicemails. You had access to Rachel's voicemails, and you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. You cannot touch voicemails because they're in the cloud. And uh, no, it's not. No. Oh, it is true. He Fuck. didn't erase that. Rachel knew. Ow. He was. He told. She was gathering else. evidence. We still got two strikes. We're good. We're still good. We're still good. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Your topics have been revealed. Let's talk about the unreported assaults. You know, killing the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What? We I like murder two. Rachel I think had it's evidence a on you, Braun. She though. knew what you were up to. She wasn't this a witness to anything. Those so voicemails were about an expose, a plan to blackmail me. Does this prove his innocence? No, it doesn't. Woo! Oh, shit. Really? You're oh. lying, and we can prove it. How can we prove he's lying? Rachel made clear his bug that she disliked <laughs> His lips are moving. What? Oh, no, he's hot. His lips are moving. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Baron's like the target for blackmail because of his wealth. Baron couldn't know what was the voice of us unless he'd heard them, which she denied doing earlier. Oh, <gasps> boom! Bam! I'm gonna take that extra star and I'm gonna shove it up your ass, you stupid Russian motherfucker! You never heard those voicemails, so there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them and you know. I think I'm a little more excited than and Curtis is this about murder this. with every life. But hey, I guess <laughs> I guess he's gotta be. I think he's gotta be professional about it, you know. Well, yeah. Then again, if I was ever in a like, oh, uh, black black if I was ever in a detective, detective game, I'd be like, no, yeah, motherfucker, you go to kill motherfucking jail. We're going shit run, 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 run. Okay, blackmail plot. You mentioned blackmail. Are you being blackmailed? I just said that was right. being blackmailed. Yes. 
Why aren't you investigating the criminals behind this whole operation? Well, I don't know. That's probably a later case. I'm very certain it's the Russian mob. I won't like share you? my money with them, which they did not Yeah, earn. with that suit, you look like so you belong they in the Russian mob. want me embarrassed and disgraced. I wouldn't cough up a ruble for those thugs. A ruble? That's enough That's, that's kind of like a you. penny. Less Let's get back to the murder. I found a red herring. Oh, well. Old lawsuits. Let's talk about those old lawsuits. You've had 12 lawsuits? Yes, what of it? They were all resolved. With I'm all just of my money. I mean, you gotta be some kind of gentleman to cause that much noise. Oh, fuck. I appreciate your sarcasm, but I'm not allowed to discuss the details of my settlement. And look, he's, he's, he's so pleasant, too. It's like, I'm not allowed to what discuss the fuck? This. He's Ever! Such a pleasant smile, you know? I, I bet if he wasn't a r rich Russian billionaire bastard, he would have been, he'd be a nice guy. No, he wouldn't. He didn't come forward when you heard about the murder. I had no he's, got, he's got such a gentle smile, though. How is this my business? Such soft features. She was your girlfriend. Ah, but you say she is not. I think he needs to be part of progressive wife like Wednesday. Seems trying to avoid what? this investigation. No, I had every intention of cooperation. In fact, when you found me, I was on my way to see my lawyer. Your lawyer is on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on <laughs> your jet. In Florida. You can't, you can't call him in Florida? No. Yes. No, you weren't. You're probably going to Cuba. Uh, what's the truth? Oh, we got exclamation marks here. Baran says I was leaving for London. Baran says I was local. Baran says I saw a trip to St. Petersburg. Conrad says Baran's life lived in London. I don't know what it is. Baran said he was leaving for London. Tara, right, yeah. Way to go, babe. You saved us. You, you saved this whole case, and now we made full stars. Just a skip and a jump to Moscow like the from beginning. there, and then you'd be out of our reach. Your knowledge of See, I'm trying to be funny and so come up with jokes. Oh my god. I need you to help you me out. You better wipe that smug smile off. Yeah, because I'm trying to Rikers. pay attention. Vance, Letterboxes, we're getting I'm serious now. I'm innocent of this offensive charge. My lawyers will have this all thrown out, and my country will protect me. Really? We can place yeah, you at the Russia's murder scene. Known for we can connect its you to the victim America. and her Shit. voicemails. And your cane is a match for the murder weapon. Now might be a good time to panic. Okay. Oh! Oh, Granite Cake! See? That's a hell of a lot of evidence to throw out. That's why I have a hell of a lot of lawyers. Oh, Jesus. Don't worry, I'll be out in a few days. Then maybe I'll call you, baby. God, yeah. you are just not a yeah. type. Come on, Ray. Let's go get a bite. You know, this is before Benson got her uh, serious sexual assault and torture and kidnapping in later episodes right. of SVU. So if, if that were to happen, she'd like. Bash over the head. It's like, what's his name, you motherfucker? 